Okay, before I start this video, I really, really need your help. If by the end of this video or like halfway through the video, you realize this video was helpful to you, please like and comment on it. I've spent four and a half hours making this video and when I finally got the perfect take, I realized my autofocus wasn't on, so I'm doing another take. So please help me out here because I spend a lot of time on my content and I probably am one of the few people actually reviewing Aftershock products fairly on YouTube. So, but let's get into the video. Hey, 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 okay. So I'm actually pretty excited about this video because we're doing a first impressions on pretty much the most powerful computer I've ever held. This computer costs like $4,300 spec'd out. It's got an RTX 3080, 8 core Ryzen processor. Like, come on, and who wouldn't be excited to check this out if you're a PC gamer? So this is the Aftershock Apex 15X Performance from the R series laptop. Uh, the name is a bit complicated, Aftershock. I recommend you simplify everything down. But either way, Aftershock sent this laptop for me to review. They loaned it to me. I'm not forced to say anything good, and I won't say anything good if there isn't anything good, but there's a lot of things good about this laptop, so no worries after shock. And also, I do have to review return this laptop at the end of the day, so no worries there. It's not like a paid endorsement or anything. Let's get into this laptop. So let's start with the physical kind of impressions with this thing, and uh, it's pretty interesting. So this laptop seems to be very friendly to pros on like first glance because of its I.O. Oh, it's got a charger on the back, it's got an Ethernet port on the back, HDMI, USB-C. No idea if it's Thunderbolt. It doesn't say there. It should support display port though. We've got a USB 3 port on the left with two headphone jack and mic jack, and then we We've got two USB 3 ports on the right, which is convenient, and an SD card reader, which is convenient. So the, the Ethernet ports and the SD card ports kind of tell you that, oh, maybe they want to be friendly to people who are using the laptop as a workstation, not just gamers. But trust me, when you look at the big picture with this laptop, I think you will find that this is a gaming laptop first and foremost, not really a hybrid all-in-one for workstation. And th this is not a diss to this laptop. This laptop is very, very good for gaming. It's just not really a jack-of-all-trades, as some people might think it is. You know, I have to inform you, consumers, so that you don't make the wrong purchase decision. So let's get into this laptop and let's go inside it because there are a lot of cool stuff to check out. So let's start with the display because the display is really, really attractive. So this display right here is honestly one of the key features of this laptop. It's 1440p, 16x9, 165 hertz. Like this is such a good display. It's IPS, it's view angles are pretty decent. It's got very minimal backlight bleed and it's pretty bright. I really like this display. Great for videos, great for gaming. I don't know about color accuracy. Obviously the color tests will be coming in a full review so make sure you subscribe for that full review because I will be testing the colors on this on this laptop screen, so that's interesting. 165 hertz, still very fun to use. Now above the screen though, is something a lot more disappointing, and that's the webcam. Okay, this webcam is not good. It's conclusively not good. If you're buying this and you're gonna be doing a lot of webcam calls, you want an external webcam or you want to look elsewhere because the webcam in here is terrible. I live in a work from home era and I know Aftershock had to cut costs somewhere to fit an RTX 3080 and a Ryzen 9 5900HX for such an aggressive price that they've given. But the webcam is the last place you should have cut costs in because we live in a work from home era. Everyone's doing conference calls, everyone's gonna need a good webcam and this webcam just can't make it. They might as well have just not put a webcam on it like the Asus G14. Please put a better webcam in the next version because that is just so important nowadays with conference calls and stuff. I know this is a gaming laptop first and foremost and this is the concrete evidence this machine was clearly designed for gamers and really gamers 80% of the time. Uh, so if you buy this laptop, be prepared to buy a better webcam. Thankfully, they're quite cheap nowadays or you might want to look elsewhere because this is a gaming laptop first and Okay, the keyboard is pretty decent. For gaming, it feels crisp and responsive. It's a mechanical switch keyboard. So, you know, when you're paying $4,000 for a laptop, they want to give you the best features you can get your hands on. So yeah, it's got mechanical switches. Very, very nice, very crisp and very satisfying. Some people like it, some people don't. Maybe try it out before buying it if possible. Uh, I know that there are some display units on Synonym Square. Okay, now the trackpad though, is completely different. It's not, it's subjectively an objectively excellent glass, accurate, satisfying, very good. Nothing else to say apart from that. Uh, the speaker, here's my reaction. It's definitely there, it's got good volume. Okay. It's not amazing, that's for sure, and it's not really impressive. Definitely won't be the life of the party if you play music through these speakers. Just be aware of that and um, yeah, use a pair of headphones with this laptop if possible. So that's it about like all the features and stuff. Let's talk about the gaming experience. Here's my gaming first impressions. So as you can tell, gaming is where this laptop shines and that's why I say this laptop is a gaming laptop first and foremost. It's a pure thoroughbred gaming machine and that's not a bad thing because it's so good for gaming. For $4,000, you get some of the best specs when it comes to gaming in, in its price range. Like for, for RTX 3080 and Ryzen 5900 HX, the fact that you can get this for like $4,200, $4,300, that's great value. That's 
that's a lot of performance for the money. That's good bang for the buck. And if you're a pure gamer who doesn't care about the webcam, who doesn't care about the speakers because you've got a gaming headset, perfectly fine, excellent, excellent value. Gaming on this is a joy. Maxed out, Cyberpunk 2077, 1440p, with ray tracing 16 times anti-aliasing, I get 40 plus FPS consistently? Like, what? Like, okay, you know, gaming on this is enough said. It's really good. Obviously, I will be giving full benchmarks in my full review, so make sure you subscribe for that. But till that happens, to just know that the performance probably is really good. I mean, it is an RTX 3080. I know it's the mobile version, but it's still a very powerful GPU inside here. The CPU in here is very powerful as well. Once again, full benchmarks in the full review, so make sure you subscribe for that. However, there is one drawback with this laptop, and that is the fan noise. So it's a lot of power in a thin package, and I've never seen a 3080 laptop really be quiet, so not going to be too harsh against Aftershock here, but the fan noise is really aggressively loud. Just be aware of that. Just be like wearing headphones or something if you're buying this laptop, that's for sure. Anyway, in conclusion then, should you buy this laptop? I think this laptop is actually pretty complicated to explain because it's very expensive, so you need to really know if you're making the right choice when you're buying it. And to explain it, I need more tests. And for more tests, that will be in my full-on in-depth review, which is fully scripted and is, it's in the works. It's going to take two or three weeks, so subscribe for that. But I expect it to be a very gamer-inclined laptop. I think the only person I can recommend it to right now, based off first impressions alone, is someone who is looking for a gaming laptop to use at home as a stationary setup. It doesn't need a webcam because they either close their camera on a Zoom call all the time or they just don't have Zoom calls to attend. And someone who, you know, who wants a beastly gaming system that they can just plonk on their table, plug in a mouse, plug in a headphone, and then start gaming and having a lot of fun with. Because this is definitely that. And it's a very good machine for that because the screen is good and the value is excellent. So that's the only niche I can recommend it to for now. The full review will talk more about who exactly it's for and who exactly it isn't for. But till then, it's a, it's a pretty decent laptop. You know, I've had a lot of fun checking this out. And if you found this video helpful or you liked it or found it had a little bit of fun, make sure you like and subscribe and comment and all that stuff because that would be greatly appreciated. Also, if you have any questions you want to ask, ask away on my Discord linked in the description. There is a community there that is bustling and growing and we help each other out and it's super fun. So see you guys next time. Uh, I'm going to end it off here. Bye.